All right. We're back again, ain't we? Well, y'all look like you calmed down out there after all that. I noticed the photographers have all moved to the back of the room. <laughs> hey, Leanne Rhymes ain't the only one that used to dance. <laughs> I used to try to do that a little bit myself. Well, I sure am glad to see the cool weather move in. I'm tired of mowing. <laughs> Listen, we had a little incident down there at home this summer. There was a, a new preacher moved to town. He was riding his bike all over town, checking the place out. And he come up on this little boy standing on the side of the road with his lawnmower there and had a sign on it, for sale. Preacher rode up and said, little boy, why are you trying to sell your lawnmower? He said, cause I'm tired of mowing. I'm ready to ride. I want a bicycle. That preacher said, well, this is your lucky day. He said, I just moved to town and my yard's up about knee high and I need a lawnmower. Tell you what I'll do. I'll trade even with you. Swap you. My bicycle for your lawnmower. That little boy said, that's great. So he made the trade. Little boy rode the bike off. Preacher pushed the lawnmower home. Later on that afternoon, little boy riding the bicycle around, loving it, looking the neighborhood over, and he come across the preacher out there. Rode up. Preacher's out there pulling that cord on that lawnmower. Little boy went up and said, well, preacher man, how you liking the new lawnmower? Preacher said, I hate it. Said, you gypped me, son. Said, this thing won't run. I can't get it started. It won't crank. That little boy said, it'll crank. All you got to do is give it a cussing. <laughs> preacher said, I can't do that. He said, I'm a preacher, son. Said, I've quit cussing a long time ago. I ain't, I've been preaching for 10 years. I forgot how to cuss. That little boy said, you just keep pulling on that rope. It'll come back to you here after a while. <laughs> Uh, well, boy, I guess we better sing, hadn't we, while we've still got a job. I've got some of the finest pickers in country music up here. <clears throat> some of the most underworked boys in the United States standing right here. Over here to my left, this old boy from Buffalo. The rest of us up here have natural parents. <laughs> it's Bob Clark. Bob Clark from Oklahoma City on the mandolin. Blake Williams on the bass, Charlie Cushman on the guitar right here. We're going to do you our major hit, the song that has put us where we are today. That didn't get them worked up, did it? <laughs> Since all the friends has got one, my wife is a one, one, two. A D-length fuzzy fur coat ain't nothing else going to do. Said she looked real classy and make me proud of her If I'd run down to the store and buy her a fur Well, she put me to thinking how that I was gonna swing that kind of deal She knows we can't afford that and I'm too afraid to steal But the problem finally solved itself like a bolt out of the blue It just jumped right out in front of me on Highway 22 That big old German Shepherd, my car he didn't see the dog heaven left his hide laying there for me. For six weeks in the basement, I worked on it every night. It was trial and error, but I finally got it right. I put it in a cornflakes box and I carried it upstairs to her. She French kissed me when she seen her fur. Now she got that fuzzy fur coat, reaches all the way down to her knees. She been complaining lately, said her claws is crawling alive with fleas. She don't old Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's putting on the dog when she goes out at night. She don't old Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's really putting on the dog when she goes out at night. She's been so depressed since I backed out over the cat. I believe she's gonna smile real big when I show her that new fur hat. 